Jason joining us with the check on the weather and Marissa, we don't know the cause of that crash, but regardless, important for everyone to realize there might be some wet roads out there today. Yeah, we are definitely looking at wet roadways across almost the entire area. Some of us have picked up nearly an inch of rain. Others, though, just a few hundredths of an inch of rain. So here's our rainfall total so far. I do expect these numbers to go up by the end of the day. Kenosha picking up more than an inch of rain. Waukesha nearly an inch of rain. You can see totals, of course, getting a little bit lighter and mainly the farther north that you work your way. The total Totals have been lighter. Here's a couple more totals around the area in Milwaukee, picking up only a quarter of an inch of rain. But if you think about it, Waukesha is about 20 miles, 25, 30 miles uh, to the west where they picked up nearly an inch of rain. So we're getting a widespread of rainfall across the area, and there are still rain showers out there. Here in Port Washington, we've only picked up a few hundredths of an inch, but we do have the wet roadways. We also have very gray skies in place. We're at 65 degrees on this afternoon here on Thursday. We are going to continue to keep our temperatures in the 60s for the remainder of the day. It's 66 in Racine right now, too. And as you notice, also looking very gray and really not able to see too far. Visibility is being impacted by the low clouds and also some of the rain moving through. We also have some areas of fog, so visibility right now has been reduced to just a couple of miles or even less than a mile, at least at the weather station in West Bend. It's down to about a third of a mile in Milwaukee, a mile and a half and there through Racine, where we just saw about three miles of visibility. As we move into this afternoon, we should You'll get it to a couple of sun breaks, a couple. We're not saying that you're going to see them, but there will be a few out there across southeast Wisconsin. We will have rain showers, though, continuing through the area. The moisture will continue to move in from the southeast. And if we do get more of those sun breaks, we have a better chance to see more thunderstorms this afternoon, though still expecting them to be isolated and nothing will be severe. As we move into this afternoon, we'll stop around about five o'clock or so. Again, a few showers and potentially a few thunderstorms, but there are a couple of breaks in the cloud cover. We'll keep a few more showers. This model really having us dry out by the time we get to 10 o'clock. I don't expect that, but we will at least see the showers kind of slow down a bit from that steadier rain that we had this morning. By the time we get to early tomorrow morning, still a few showers in the area and throughout your day on Friday, we're going to go with isolated rain showers and a few thunderstorms, not as widespread as today. So rainfall totals between now and then all the way through late tomorrow, only going to be another 10th of an inch to as much as a quarter of an inch of rain. So not expecting a lot of rain through the area. A lot of clouds that will hang around. We'll keep the showers on and off throughout the day. Highs only in the mid to upper 60s. Going about 68 in Milwaukee. I have an update on our current temperatures in just about 10 minutes. Your seven day forecast is showing temperatures climbing as we move to Friday into the low 70s. And then we will be pushing 80 degrees this weekend, especially in inland spots on Saturday, maybe even also again on Sunday too. Very unseasonably warm for this time of year. There is a chance that we could sneak in a couple of showers by late Sunday. Not expecting a washout, though more of the heavier rain will hold off until late Monday with more showers and a few more thunderstorms continuing into next week. And we are just three days away, Ryan, from tying and then eventually maybe breaking our record of number of 70 degree days Ooh. in one year. We're at about 142 right now. 145 is the record. I like the 70 degree days, so yes. we'll keep it. And you know, it's good to see that there will be a little break in the rain so everyone can go yes. to the pumpkin farm this weekend. Exactly. And we pick it back up. Yep.